Hello, today I'm going to show you how to create this cube. Let's open a new document and zoom out. Get rid of the fill, select the line segment tool and draw a vertical line. With the line selected, click on it, hold and drag it to the right to make a copy. Now press the Ctrl and D keys on your keyboard several times to repeat the same process. Select all the lines and let's group them together. With all the lines still selected, press the letter R for the Rotate tool or select it from the toolbar panel and then press Enter. Type 60 into the angle window and click Copy. With the lines still selected, press the letter O for the Reflect tool or select it from the toolbar panel and press Enter again. Choose the vertical axis and click Copy. Now select everything and let's resize it. Next, make sure that the stroke is set to None and select the Shape Builder tool. And we are ready to create the cube. It is a good idea to have a sketch for reference. First open the Swatches window and select any color you would like to use. Now click, hold and drag to connect the first six triangles. Choose a different color and connect these ten triangles together. Select a different color and keep connecting the triangles to match the sketch. Next, with the Shape Builder tool still selected, press and hold down the Alt key and draw over all the unwanted lines to delete them. You can also select the Lasso tool and draw an area to cover all the rest of the lines and then press the Delete key on your keyboard. Now let's resize it and recenter it. Select everything, group it together, make sure Align to Artboard is selected and choose Horizontal and Vertical Align Center. Now right click with your mouse and choose Ungroup. Finally we will change colors and add gradient to make it look like this. Here is the color group I will be using today. First select the top yellow part and change its color to this dark grey. Now apply the same color to these parts as well. Next select the front part and let's add a gradient. You should be very familiar with using the gradient tool. If you would like to learn more about this tool, please check out my previous tutorials. I have included a link to them in the description below. First make sure the gradient window is open and now drag the dark grey color to one side of the slider. Now select the lighter grey and drag it to the other side. Press the letter G to show the gradient annotator on the screen and adjust it. Next switch to the eyedropper tool and click on this gradient to get a color sample. Then holding down the Alt key click on the above shape to apply the same gradient. And do the same with the top shape. Next select the top green shape and apply the light color. Then select this shape and apply the light gray to it. And let's apply the same gray to the other sides. Now we will add a gradient to this side using the light gray colors. Adjust the gradient. Select the small part and apply the same gradient. 
Next, select the top of the small cube and add the light red to it. Select the other side and add the dark red. Now select the last part and make a gradient using these red colors. If needed, adjust the gradients even more until you are satisfied with the final results. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.